So coach, just want to just dive a little bit into some per specific, specific personnel that you have. Uh, obviously, we've seen a lot of Braden Lindsay over the years. We've seen Kevin Austin, not as maybe not as much as everyone would like to have seen Kevin Austin, but we, we've seen him. And Avery Davis obviously had a really nice breakout last year. I wanted to talk about some young guys we haven't seen a ton and just kind of what you see in those players. And that is Xavier Watts and then your three freshmen. Now that all the three freshmen are now on campus, obviously that would be Lorenzo Styles. Deion Colsey and Jaden Thomas, they're coming into a unique situation. You know, you lost some starters. There's been some other departures. And so um, what have you seen from those young guys? What do they bring to the table? What skills do they have that you're hoping to be able to, to, to utilize someday, whether it be this year or or down the road? Yeah, I think – look, I'll start where you started. Like with Xavier Watts, um, here's a kid early in spring. You would have said, hey, he's one of the three or four guys that's kind of breaking through the wall here. And, um, you know, I think the thing with, with, with X is he's got size and he's got um, speed enough to be able to utilize that size, but he just has a natural way of getting open. Like he understands leverage, he understands space, and there's little nuances within his routes where he's able to be physical here. He's a throw by and um, he was able to do some things. Um, with any young player, I think building the confidence is, is really important. And how do we make sure that we put him in position to go make plays to help build that confidence? And he's a kid um, we're really high on. I feel like this summer has been a huge progression for him. Um, you know, he's somebody as the spring was going on, you saw him dive more and more into the playbook and more and more into, hey, I'm going to get up with Coach Alexander. I'm going to spend some time with him. and I'm going to really buy into this thing because this is my opportunity. This is my chance to go play. And he's – look, a lot of those guys you said are smaller frame guys. And he's someone that is a little bit more similar to the build that we've had a lot of success with with some of those bigger players um, who's able to go be physical against the DB and utilize his speed and his strength and his size to go win matchups. Um, look, with the freshmen, the way the rules are, like, I can't see him do any ball drip skill, drills. I can't see him catch yet. I can't see him do all that. Um, strictly with um, within Bayless's workouts, the first thing that jumps out about this group of three guys is their maturity level and their compete level. Like these are guys that know how to work, know how to play, or um, know how to compete. And then they also there's a maturity in which the way they approach everything. Like they're not guys that you have to tell them twice. They're not guys that you have to um, beg to do more. Like they're already at that level. Um, you know, Zoe was here in the spring and like he has a very similar mentality to Ben Skronik, which is a very high compliment in terms of like his compete level, his want to be great, his extra time. You know, I know he was living with Buckner and Buckner, like he'd be up till two in the morning studying the playbook. Like he just has that extra gear to him where like this is what's important and I'm going to make sure that I maximize my opportunities. You know, I think obviously – from a physical standpoint, the, the trait that jumps out as a young player is he's fast, right? Like we know he can run. And so how do we continue to work on some of the finer things of playing wide out um, that he's able to go use his speed in the right way? Um, and then Jaden and Dion, I mean, you just look at them and physically they have the right frame. They have an imposing build to them. Um, they move extremely well for their size. Like the little I've been able to see him do, from an agility standpoint, yes, they are larger receivers, but they show the ability to be able to sink their hips, change direction, uh, getting in and out of breaks, getting in and out of some of the drills. And so that's all extremely exciting for us is to have big guys that can drop their weight and change direction and use some of that. But like the thing that is from a coach's standpoint, that's probably – the highest praise I could give them is just the mentality that they've walked in the door with is the right one. And if you have that, you usually have a pretty good chance of being successful.